You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. At the time, we have about 150 animals here to shelter. Uh, we're, at, we're over capacity, just to be honest with you. And there's people who are on a waiting list wanting to bring animals here, and you have to tell them no. The Floyd County Animal Shelter is currently facing an unprecedented space and financial crisis, putting the lives of countless innocent animals at risk. Me and one of the other employees here, we looked at each other and we said that if it comes down to having to euthanize healthy, I'm sorry, <laughs> healthy, lovable animals that we were going to put our two weeks in. With their resources stretched thin, the shelter had to make a heartbreaking announcement this week, stating that they would have to resort to euthanizing animals due to severe overcrowding. Nothing we ever do feels like it's good enough. We still get, we get shamed on. I've, since I've made that post, I've had 14 people call or message us wanting us to take in litters of puppies or three to four adult dogs or pregnant cats. And they said, and I quote, since you're killing your animals, you have room to take mine now, right? Every day we get people calling saying we're not doing enough, saying that we don't take care of the animals properly. And that, that hurts us to our core because we come in here, we put 100%, we do all we can. We think of these animals as our own, as our own babies. It is estimated that nearly 6.5 million animals enter U.S. shelters nationwide every year, of which approximately 1.5 million are euthanized. I remember the first time I came to the shelter, I went inside. In one room, they had all these cages that had litters of pups and kittens. It just blew me away. I could not believe that what these girls have to try to deal with. Uh, but the spay and neutering would remedy that situation. But the problem is, is most of the people that come in to try to adopt an animal, they don't have the money sometimes to pay for, for some of these things. So we're, we've got to come up with a program that uh, would help pay some of that to such an extent that people could bring those in and have them spayed and neutered because without that, we, we can't build a big enough building to hold all the animals. We can't. The shelter staff and volunteers are working tirelessly to find solutions to this heartbreaking situation. If you or anyone you know can offer financial aid or volunteer assistance, please call the shelter at 606-886-3189. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Ethan Miller.